morning everyone welcome to another video so my name is Madison don't if we haven't met yet and here on this channel I teach you the science behind health so that you can understand your body and learn to live holistically so as a biologist and nutrition coach who actually coaches other people on their nutrition uh, something that I get asked a lot a very highly requested video is a what I eat in a day so I thought that I would do that for you um, and really show you how I find healthy, balanced meals that aren't difficult. <clears throat> Sorry, <laughs> I just woke up. So this is the first time I'm speaking. Yes. So healthy, balanced meals that are quick and easy and simple because even though I'm a nutrition coach, I don't actually like cooking. Um, so I, I love healthy foods. Like if someone can like roast me some vegetables, great. But oh my God. <clears throat> Yeah, I just need to warm up. I didn't do any like vocal exercises <laughs> for this. Um, anyway, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys what I eat that is healthy and simple and take you along on the ride. If you wanna see anything else, let me know down in the comments for next time. Otherwise, let's go have breakfast. I just wanted to quickly warn you guys, just a little disclaimer, our kitchen is really, really dark. So hopefully, you will still enjoy this video. I am going to be putting all the lights on and um, I'll put artificial lights if I think we need it. Um, but just so that you don't think I'm filming this all at night. Um, yeah, the kitchen is like at the back of the apartment. I'm trying to manifest a bright, beautiful, open, white kitchen for my next apartment. Um, but yeah, just thought that I would give you a heads up. But regardless, I feel like you'll learn a lot in this video about what to think about when you're you know, making your healthy balanced meals. So yeah, just thought that I should warn you. Okay, so first meal is breakfast. First of all, I'm sorry if you can hear the construction outside. It's really annoying. Anyway, first meal of the day is a protein smoothie. I have literally been having this breakfast every day since February. Um, maybe there's been like five days in that space of the time where I've had like avocado toast instead. Um, but I genuinely wake up craving this, like from the moment I open my eyes, I'm like, mm, I need my protein smoothie. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make it. In all the meals that we're going to be talking about today and that I'm going to be showing you, you wanna make sure that you have a healthy balance of proteins, fats, and carbs. So no food group is the enemy. We wanna make sure that we're including um, a source from each. So even though this is a protein smoothie, the, the sources that I'm going to be using, so the protein is obviously the protein powder. I'm also going to be putting um, collagen in there as well. And then the healthy fats, we're going to be using seeds. So I'm going to show you what I put in in a second. Um, and also we're going to be using coconut milk. Um, coconut milk is high in saturated fats. And usually when you are wanting to find a healthy fat to implement into your diet, you want to go for more unsaturated fats. But in saying that, it's not like I'm using a very dense coconut oil. I'm using coconut milk. So, um, and coconut, the saturated fats in coconut are actually said to help your cholesterol levels. Um, so the jury's out on that one. There's still more studies to be done, but that is just, yeah, they're saying that coconut is not actually as bad as other saturated fats. So I just think it tastes better with coconut milk. So that's why I have mine with coconut milk. And also, yeah, it's, it's not. A bad food um, especially not the brand that I get it's the ingredients are all super good it's organic coconut um, but if you like yours with almond milk I used to have mine with almond milk um, then almond milk would be better um, but it just yeah almond milk is not as good for the environment because it does take up a lot of water it's just really hard to find a good alternative milk that pleases everybody um, so anyway I'm going to start with ice um, so I'm going to fill this up with ice and then come back and show you what I add all right so now we're going to add the coconut milk um, so I just put three or four ice cubes in here the more ice you put the more frappe consistency it's going to be um, so I just fill up the coconut milk now to the 300 mark but because there's ice in here it will actually end up only being about 250 ml of coconut milk um, so this is the one I use cocoa 
what is it? Pure Harvest Cocoa Quench. Um, and so the ingredients are literally just filtered water, coconut milk, um, organic coconut milk, sorry, um, organic brown rice and sea salt. So because it does have the brown rice in there, it is a really good source of carbohydrates as well. So let's pour that in. Why is it doing that? That has literally never happened before. That's disgusting. Why is it clumpy? Be right back. Okay, let's try that again. So I've put some extra ice cubes in it now because um, I'm using hot coconut milk that I just got out of the cupboard. I got a new one because I don't know what was going on with that one. So I'm going to fill it up to the 300 mark. See, no clumps. This is how it should be. Okay. There we go. Um, and then what I do is I add all of my powders. So the trick is to add the liquid before you add the protein powders and stuff. Otherwise, they will stick to the bottom and it's not a good time. So this is the one that I crave. Oh, it's honestly so good. So good. Yeah. I can't like, I have other protein flavors up here. So I have the cacao hazelnut. Um, oh, they're right, they're right at the back, but I also have the chai latte one as well. But I just, I literally crave this one. I keep going back to it. Even when this one runs out, like I still love the cacao hazelnut, but this is like, I prefer this one. Um, so I put two tablespoons of this one. Yum, yum, yum. It kind of tastes like it sounds. Like it tastes like a cinnamon donut. Um, I don't know about the custard part. I guess it's because it's like milky. <clears throat> it's like cinnamony, but still subtle. Like it's not too much. And then I'm going to add some collagen. So this is the one that I use. Um, just a tablespoon of that one. And then I'm also going to add some coconut yogurt. This one here. So Coco Bella, dairy free, gluten free, lactose free, vegan, all that good stuff. Oh, I'm almost out. So I'm just going to put about a tablespoon. And I used to have honey, but I've worked myself off that now so that I don't need the extra sweetness. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to Blend it up and show you what. Oh, I forgot my seeds. Rewind. Damn it. So that also the idea is to um, not do the yogurt until the end so that your spoon does not get wet when you're doing the powders. Um, so I'm also going to put my seeds in here. So I'm kind of seed cycling. I'm not really doing it properly. Like I've got the seeds for my luteal phase in here. I just um, combined them. So um, and then I put a tablespoon, whereas technically you're supposed to put a tablespoon of each seed um, and have that each day. But I just put a tablespoon of this seed mix that I made in my smoothies. Um, if I did two, I think it would be too much. Anyway, let's try that again. So going to blend this up and show you what it looks like. Sweet. So that's all done. Oh, usually I drink this all in about five seconds um, but I am going to take my supplements first because I just like to prepare my supplements while it's blending and it only takes about 45 seconds though so I will fast forward this show you what I'm doing so I'll move the camera and um, then we can go on our walk So I'm back from my walk now um, and today is a YouTube day so I'm going to batch a couple of videos. It's better to batch them and record them all on the same day um, because you kind of have to set up all the camera equipment and I like to go into hair and makeup um, so in a second I'm going to go and just get myself camera ready. Um, 
and yeah i will do that oh also i forgot to give you guys my discount code for botanica blends when i was showing you my breakfast before so it is madison 15 that will get you 15 percent off and honestly i have all of my family and friends onto it i have my sister she is just as addicted as i am we literally crave it we have it every single day um my mum is onto it my nan is onto it so my nan just actually messaged me for a second bag because she loves it so much so she is having the custard filled cinnamon donut flavor that i have um my sister has the cacao hazelnut she's obsessed with that one sometimes she'll even make it like into a hot chocolate overnight um so yeah it's so funny because i told her to get it like when i started getting it and she was like, oh, I don't think I would like protein powders, like not my thing. Um, Cause she's never been like big into the gym or anything. And I was like, but it tastes so good. You need it. And also like for the protein as well, um, because she doesn't need enough protein. And then she gave in a couple of months ago, how many? or maybe four months ago now. She was like, okay, I, I acknowledge I'm not eating enough protein. So I need to have some protein powder. And then I got it for her and now she's literally addicted. She's like, calculating how much money she spent on protein in the last four months um but yeah so highly recommend that you try that one um and if you need to add some extra goodies to the cart to get up the postage then they have a heap of other awesome products as well the protein is vegan it is dairy free um, so it's made on pea and rice protein um, and if you want to know a little bit more about why a complete protein source is important um, i recommend that you go and find this post on my instagram because that talks about why it's better to have pea and rice protein together combined in a product rather than just pea or just rice um, so that kind of explains the science behind it a little bit more if you're not sure what protein powder to get um, but i'm dairy free that's why i don't get like whey protein or anything like that but i reckon this actually tastes better so Anyway, I'm going to go and set up my camera gear and then record a couple videos um, and then we'll see how we go. I'll need a snack soon. Um, and then, yeah, so I'll take you along and show you kind of the behind the scenes of my camera setup as well. So before I start recording, to avoid my voice being all crackly, oh gosh, this lighting. Yeah, you know what I mean now with the dark kitchen. This is like my life. Anyway, let's turn around this way. Um, I am going to make myself a green tea. One, because I am trying to cut out caffeine. Um, well, not caffeine, but coffee, because green tea does have caffeine in it, unless you get a decaf one. Um, but also because, as you heard this morning, my voice getting a bit crackly. Sometimes when I'm recording YouTube all day, it can do the same thing. So um, I used to be a singer, so I've learned this from being a singer, is that if you have like a warm beverage, um, preferably not milky, because that can also like make your throat close up a little bit. Um, not close up, that's a bit dramatic, but you know, tighten. Um, so I'm just going to have some green tea and that will warm up my vocal cords ready for a full day of recording and then I will edit a bit of YouTube this afternoon. Um, but with green tea, what I learned at my naturopathic um, workshop last year when I um, had an intensive weekend for uni, um, there's a certain way to brew green tea so that you get the constituents out of it that you want that do the actual healing. Um, so this is different for every herb. Um, yes, green tea is a herb. Um, and you want with green tea you want to get the essential oils out um, so that means with green tea in particular every herb has a different boiling point as well um, i don't know if it's called boiling point with herbs but um with green tea you want to boil it at 85 degrees celsius um, between three to five minutes now i don't have a fancy kettle where you get to choose what it goes up to so mine will just boil to 100 degrees but i will mix it with cold water to kind of bring the temperature down a little bit or room temperature water to bring the temperature down a little bit um, and then i will put a timer on and leave it for three to five minutes um, to brew and then you take the tea bag out and then it can sit and you can drink it as long as you want you just have to take the leaves out um, so yeah fun fact um, so i will do that now and then we will get to filming
Hey Siri, set timer for three minutes. Okay, three minutes and counting. And while we wait, I'm going to answer some DMs on Instagram. Okay, time up. Tea bag is out and it's time to go record. All right, so I'm just about to go to the supermarket to get some food for lunch and dinner, but I just recorded four YouTube videos. Four. That never happens. Two is usually my max. I'm just like in flow today, so that is great. Um, but my rule for grocery shopping is don't go grocery shopping hungry because then you're just gonna buy everything and things that you don't genuinely want you just got to be looking for like that quick fix um so these here so these they are essentially the rice cracker versions of this so they're um Ceres organics so Ceres organics is really good their ingredients um it'll just be like brown rice i love the salt and salt and vinegar flavor um, they are a little dry to have by themselves, but they do drink, make me drink more water. Um, and I do also love making my avocado dip, um, and having them on here. So yeah, I'm going to quickly eat a few of these so then we can go grocery shopping without me buying the whole store and then we can make lunch. So for lunch, I am really hungry and I want something quick and easy and also I'm feeling a little bit lazy. I've got some editing to do of the YouTube videos, so I am going to have pesto chicken. Um, so I have some, not that, I have some leftover organic chicken in this container here, which goes bad today. Um, so I will pop that in. So I'm just going to make enough for one because I can't reheat the chicken past this time, so I could freeze it or something. I'm also going to put some spinach in there as well and I have a zucchini as well that I'm going to hide in there um, just for some extra micronutrients um, and I'm going to be using pulse pasta so um, this is made of peas lentils chickpeas and beans um, so it is gluten free and all of that good stuff it also has um, it's a really good source of fiber so this is where my carbohydrates are coming from um, so we've got carbohydrates, protein is the chicken, um, micronutrients here, and then, oh, oh, I was like, why do I have tofu? That's for dinner. Um, and then also I've got pine nuts. I bought pine nuts as well for healthy fats. Um, and also the pesto, um, is made of seeds and it's got cashew nuts in there as well sunflower seeds it looks to be the better of the ones that i've seen obviously you can make it from scratch um but i've forgotten how to do that and i don't really make much from scratch so um i'm sure that there are healthier ones i'll keep an eye out but from the supermarket the woolies that i just went to um this seemed to be the best one and it is dairy free gluten free wheat free all that stuff so i'm going to go ahead um and start the pasta cut up the zucchini and yeah that's pretty much it this is a really easy one um also i am going to prepare dinner now so that i don't have to worry about it later um so because i am using the tofu for dinner um i've learnt with tofu it's best to let it simmer so i'm going to put all the flavors and yeah put everything on now and then I'm going to leave it sit for like an hour and a half or something like that um, and then that lets the tofu really soak up the flavor so I do really love the taste of tofu um, and the texture uh, but yeah sometimes if you cook it too fast it's still edible but it just doesn't absorb enough flavor um, and you really have to kind of coat it in the sauce so that's what I'm going to do um, yeah I'll just speed this up a little bit is perfect shaky and I'm slow
All right, so I've made a bit of a mess, but my camera died. So um, this is the end result. So this is what I'm going to eat now. So the pesto chicken, I've just squashed the um, spinach in there. And then this is my um, tofu curry. So I just added some, uh, it's got the onion and garlic in there to begin with. And then I put carrot and zucchini in. Um, so I just used this, uh, where is it? Tiki masala um, from Heart and Soul. And so let me have a look at their ingredients. They're honestly so good. So 100% natural, vegan, gluten free, dairy free, blah, 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 all that good stuff. And these are your ingredients here. So you can't see any numbers. Obviously, that's 21%, but I mean, you know, ingredient numbers. What is that? My hands are a mess. Um, and it's just all good ingredients. So amazing so there's that um i also was going to put cashews in there but i don't think i have cashews so i put some pine nuts in here for some healthy fats but i might put it in here as well just why not um so we've got tofu for the protein um fats nuts some coconut cream or oh, and then whatever's in here and then i'm going to put it with basmati rice because basmati rice is low gi um, so that'll be amazing for the whole grains. Yum. <laughs> All right, cool. So I'm going to go eat this. I'm going to let this simmer for later. So now that I've cleaned up the kitchen a little bit, it was a bit of a mess and my tummy has settled. I'm going to now make a hot chocolate, but this is one with medicinal mushrooms in it. So it's really good for focus. And I'm just about to go and sit down on the couch now and edit those YouTube videos. So I just put about one and a half teaspoons in, um, top it with coconut milk and then done. All right, so we're back here again and I just had dinner. I'm feeling so tired because I've literally been editing all afternoon. Um, so I am going to have dessert tonight. I don't always have dessert um, because usually I'm a bit too distracted working, which isn't healthy either. Um, but I am going to show you quite an amazing, or I think it's an amazing dessert um, tonight. Usually I will, if I'm not, if I'm just having dessert for the sake of having dessert and I'm not actually like craving any of the foods, then I will just make myself like a sleep tea or something like that. Um, and I find that having a tea after dinner, it kind of, you know, refreshes, not refreshes, but it like resets your palate so that you're not craving those sugary foods anymore. Um, otherwise I will have just like a row of Loving Earth chocolate or I will have Panna ice cream that you saw me buy at the supermarket or I will have a big gourmet dessert which is what i'm gonna make now it's also raining outside so i feel like this is the perfect time to show you um so i am going to make a mug cake in how quickly maybe we, let's see if we can do it in two minutes so step one you need a mug step two you need the mug cake packet so this is what it looks like here whoops too close it says to put three tablespoons so let's see if I have three tablespoons left. So one, oh, I don't know if I do. Two, I have about two and a half. Okay, so that's that one done. Um, and then all you have to do is add a little bit of water. It says a, a quarter cup of water, I believe, from memory. 70 mil, which I think I um, Googled when I first made this and it said that it was a quarter cup, so I just get one of these. So you put it in, the first time I made it, I actually didn't add enough water and so it was too dry and it didn't really work. Um, so I would say it's better to add too much water than not enough because then you just get like a, a moist mug cake. Although this does look like a lot of water. I guess we'll see how we go. Let me see if I can show you what it looks like. It just kind of looks like that. And then we pop this one in the microwave for 50 seconds and then I'll show you what we add on top of it. The toppings are the real game changer. So I'm going to add strawberries. Then I'm going to also add the panna ice cream that I got today because it's amazing. And then, <laughs> this is also panna. So you can tell that when I find a brand that I like, I just stick to it um, because if I like one of their products, I often like all of their products. Um, so I usually have with the chocolate um, double double choc fudge mug cake. I usually have the hazelnut spread of the panna, oh, 
but I am out at the moment. So we're going to go with cashew caramel, which just tastes like salted caramel. So yummy. So I'm just going to cut these up. Oh, it's hot. So it does look quite dry before you add the toppings in. Um, so I probably wouldn't eat it by itself. And so I am going to put this on first. So this is what this one looks like like that hopefully you can see that um so i'm going to pop that one on top and just like because the mug cake is warm it's going to melt the spread a little bit more and so it should go on like icing yeah and then what i'm gonna do is because i'm the only one that eats any of this like the spread then i might add my strawberries before my ice cream yum Yum, 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 yum. So I'm technically having cake, a Nutella equivalent, ice cream and strawberries. And it is all refined sugar free. It is all dairy free. It, I think it's all gluten free. Mm. Is this gluten free? Refined sugar free, egg free. No, it says oat flour in it, so it's not gluten free, but it is refined sugar free and dairy free. Um, and I think that it's all natural and plant plant based as well. Um, so, yeah, Hannah and Botanica blends are literally the best dessert combo ever. So this is our end product. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can get a spoonful for you. Ow, that's still hot. Mm, hopefully I don't have food in my teeth but hopefully you guys enjoyed watching what I eat in a day if you have any questions at all then just let me know down in the comments and also if you want more nutrition tips and holistic health education and all of that good stuff and the behind the scenes of my own health journey throughout the week then go and make sure that you follow me over on my Instagram um, just make sure that you are getting a healthy balance of proteins, carbs, and fats. None of the food groups are our enemy. We need all of them for our body to function properly. And also make sure that you're getting lots of micronutrients in the form of fruits and veggies. Um, if you need any more information, yeah, like I said, pop it down in the comments or go and check out my products. So I have an ebook um, that's all about balancing your hormones, which will teach you how to eat for your hormones as well. And I also have an eight week holistic health coaching program. And so the current round of that one is closed for the moment, but there will be a round in 2021 again. Uh, but I will pop the links to that down in the description below so that you can have a look and see if you wanna join us for the next round. But all of my discount codes, if I have any, will be in the description below as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please make sure to like it and also subscribe for more videos like this. But that is all from me for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video next week. I'm going to go enjoy this. <laughs>